Hello Techies. In our previous tutorial, we have learned how to filter the records from the Excel. Now, as a third topic, we will learn how to filter an Excel file to return the top rows. All right, let me show you a small example. I'm having an Excel sheet with two worksheets that is employee underscore personal underscore details as well as employee underscore salary underscore details. Now I want to retrieve the top five salaries employee name and employee ID from these two worksheets. How can we go ahead and do that? Let me go back to my desktop flow. I'm going to make the changes in my execute SQL statement. Let's double click on that. Now, as a first part, we need to retrieve top records, top five records I need to fetch it up. I'm going to write the query in a such a way. Select top five. Top five employee ID as employee ID, EPD dot name as employee name. Along with that, I need to get the salary also. So I'm going to add extra column that is ESD dot annual underscore salary. This is the column where we have in our employee underscore salary and there you will find I'm having annual salary as a column. I need to retrieve this one from the top five records. For that, what I have done, I have done select top five employee ID that is ESD dot employee ID along with that EPD dot name as employee name. And after that, I'm going to get the salary that is ESD dot annual salary and I'm going to give the name as salary that is alias name I'm going to give it and there I'm going to join two worksheets that is employee underscore personal underscore details as well as employee underscore salary underscore details now on which condition that I'm going to give employee ID now I'm not going to use this where condition I don't require I just want top five records all right let's click on save now let's run the flow to see the output flow execution started there you can see based on our filter condition we are trying to retrieve top five rows right so that you can see over here in the query result we got the output with five rows and three columns let's click on open there you can see i'm having employee id employee name and the salary but if you observe these are only top five rows let me go back to my excel let me show you the input and output side by side. There you can see I'm having first records over here as Amir, right? And then Vijay, Baji, Devi Upcraft, and Jordan. These are the top five records, right? Along with that, if you see the salaries over here, I'm having 96,039, $96, 148 and 90,077. These are the top five records respective to the employee IDs, right? But our agenda is, is that to get the top five salaries, all right? In that case, what we are going to do, we are going to order by the top salaries. Now, I'm going to give the class over here as order by, and there I'm going to give get the salaries over there right there i'm going to use order by esd dot annual salary and i'm not going to mention it as ascending order or descending order now by default it is ascending order in a such a way the salaries will come on the order wise based on the ascending order lowest first and then higher at the end but we are going to mention over here as top five. In that case, we will get only the lowest salaries. Now let me click on save. Now once again, let's run the flow to see the output based on the order by to get the lowest salaries. Flow execution started. And now once again, we got the query result. Let's click on double click on that on the query result. Now if you see, we got different employee IDs, employee name, and after that salary. Now, if you observe, I'm having the lowest salaries over here. In a such a way, I'm having employee ID as 1772 and he's having the lowest salary because of we have given 
the order by based on the salaries right so that we are got the lowest salary and later on we got the top five salaries which are very lowest right 40000 40115 40186 40201 and 40255 but our agenda is that to get the top five salaries top five salaries means highest salaries so that what we are going to do we are going to mention order by descending order by default if you don't mention anything it will be considered as a ascending order if you are going to give it as exponentially you are going to give it as descending order so that we will get the top salaries all right let's click on save now once again to see the final output of the top five salaries in the particular excel let's run it flow execution started and there if you see based on given a skill statement it will fetch top five records which are having highest salaries now let's double click on the query result now if you see over here the top salary in the particular excel is 99922 later on the next salary is the next second salary is 99903 rupees and later on 99721 and 99,594 and the top five one is 99,527. Let me show you the Excel. Now, if you see, I'm going to filter largest to smallest. There, you can see the same thing over here that I'm having 1042 employee ID, 1904, 1121 and 1236 and 0 uh, and 1821. These are the salaries which we have, which we got it from our desktop flow after giving top five based on the salaries. All right. I hope you understand how to filter an Excel file by returning top records by using order by class as well as top five keywords.